When I first heard someone say that the future does not come out of the past, but comes out of the present moment, I thought it was madness, because it is so logical that we have a process of cause and effect from the past into the future. We have this at every level with a cosmological timeline for the whole universe and for every object and life form within the universe. But when we look at this as an individual, we find we are always in the present moment, with the future unfolding relative to our actions. We are always in the moment of now, in the centre of our own reference frame, being able to look back in time, in all directions, at the beauty of the stars. When we look at the universe in this way, there seems to be some truth in the saying, the future comes out of the present moment. The problem is, physics has no understanding or concept of the moment of now. It is talked about in philosophy and Buddhism, but there is no understanding of this as a physical process using physics. But there is one way to explain this, and that is if we think of the universe as a continuum based on one universal process of energy exchange. Such a process would form what we see and feel as a passage or continuum of time, with an uncertain future continuously unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table. This can be explained using this diagram, with an arrow of scientific explanation pointing down towards the atoms of the periodic table and an arrow of increasing complexity pointing up towards the great complexity and diversity of life. If we start at the bottom of the diagram, we see that there is no flow or concept of time in the subatomic world within the atoms. All we have is the distribution of positive and negative charge within the atoms. This is what we would expect if what we experience as a period of time is formed by a process of energy exchange relative to the electron probability cloud that surrounds each atom. At the most fundamental level, this is a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. This is represented by spherical harmonics on the diagram. Only a process of symmetry forming and breaking would form entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the great diversity and complexity of life. As we move up the diagram we have an image of a photon-electron coupling and a dipole moment. These are two different ways of explaining the same process with the future unfolding at the smallest unit of energy, the light quanta. Each photon-electron coupling or dipole moment only occurs once, but the process of energy exchange is continuously forming the continuum of time. This process forms a movement of positive and negative charge with the continuous flow of electromagnetic fields in three-dimensional space. This process also forms 100% antimatter annihilation, with the future being based 100% on the past. In the lower right of the diagram, we see this as symmetry forming and breaking, in the form of antimatter annihilation, representing the past, with a mirror image between the future and the past, at the moment of creation, or at each dipole moment. This forms wave-particle duality, and we have to move up to the next part of the diagram. In this theory, the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. This can be seen mathematically with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics representing 
the uncertainty of everyday life at the smallest scale of this process. We are now on the part of the diagram that says one universal process. Everything below this part of the diagram is represented by quantum mechanics, with the mathematics of quantum mechanics representing the physics of time as a geometrical process in three-dimensional space. Everything above this part of the diagram can be represented by classical physics as processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. With the time dilation of Einstein's relativity representing part of a universal process of energy exchange, slowing up the rate that time flows, forming the curvature of space-time. I believe there are two reasons why this theory is difficult to comprehend. The first is represented in the top right-hand corner of the diagram. At high temperatures we have a phase change of matter, forming plasma, with the same fundamental process unfolding at a much larger scale in the form of plasma, the movement of charge can cover an entire star, or even a large area of interstellar space. The second reason why this theory is difficult to comprehend is represented in the top left-hand corner of the diagram, and is because conscious awareness, in the form of electrical activity in the brain, is an integral part of this process. We are within the process as an interactive part of the process. Each individual is in the center of their own reference frame, at the forefront of the creative process, with their own timeline from the past into the future. It is this personalization of the brain, being in the moment of now, in the center of its own frame of reference, that gives us the concept of mind with each one of us having our own unique personal view of the universe. Conscious awareness is the most advanced part of a universal process, with a continuous stream of unbroken, ever-changing flow of ideas, feelings, dreams, and emotions, being part of the same universal process of continuous energy exchange that forms a continuum of time this process is based totally on cause and effect. We have an infinite number of dynamic interactive reference frames that make up our universe that are continuously coming in and out of existence, with each reference frame having a timeline from the past into the future. In such a theory, the future would indeed come out of the present moment for each individual, with the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of their actions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.